in the gut here, it's a four foot piece of wood that has to be fluted. It's got a eight inch blank on the bottom, which I've lined up here. Got a six inch blank on this end, which I've lined up there. Slide the router till you get to that line. Put in a stop. Slide the router in the other direction till you get to the six inch line. Put in a stop. 30 seconds. Okay, and what we've got here is spacer blocks which are laid out for a half inch, half inch flute, one inch on center. I slide these in. Slide the router. And lock it. Now, you find the center. This would be for a six inch collar. Find the center of that. Go three inches, both directions on your table saw, and that's done. And you can continue going wider, wider. Or you can stop at three flutes for a five inch collar and two flutes for a four inch collar. Simple. And once this is set up, you can run these things up one a minute. The adjustment, we've got a three foot bar clamp on both ends. This, this slides, just move your clamp. I mean, you can keep going out the length of this. We could do a 12 inch fluted column. I've done some fluted columns that are 16 feet. But you can't do it in one run, so we put a blank in a certain spot so you can keep going. We've done the tall columns and corner boards and whatever. Three inch by inch and three quarter was cut uh, out of a channel, aluminum. And this is, a, this is a fiber inside here that was milled through. What this whole system is made of basically is a system here which... Pull this whole thing right down if you want. Take it apart. This, uh, the center hole that runs all the way through and the slot in the bottom, make sure that there's there's no uh, chips or anything that, that gets in of it. So it always relieves itself no matter how messy this whole thing gets. Uh, so it, it'll always roll uh, nice and free. This is half inch aluminum. That's this could be right in here. This could be a slot right in here with a dust collection and everything that just drops down. This I believe is tucked on too, isn't it? Yeah. This, what's nice about this right here, as you can see, this is on bearings. This is on swivel bearings right here. 
which is good because when you're picking it up to put any any wood in from this way here, let's set that back down on here. That enables you to tilt. It, it enables you tilt to tilt the router up. So tilt, tilt, tilt the router up like this right here and come down. Keeps its tolerance is absolutely perfect. This whole thing runs back and forth on the track like this here. What's nice about it is you've got the width here, you've got the length right here, and these strong all all cut out of one piece and everything. You don't get any vibration or anything, nothing whatsoever in the vibration. Now we 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 use one inch cutters, fluting colors cutters that we're going down sometimes five eighths to three quarters of an inch, all in one swipe. You know, this is this is a this is how it's milled out right here. This is on a ball bearing here. That okay, runs. you guys so, can talk. I got work to do. Okay. <laughs> uh, that's how that whole thing is milled out, and that sits right in that bearing like that. Thickness of the wood is going to ride up and down, nice and even on that, you know, and not and and, and not giving any uh, any uh, thing that's. Not intolerant, yeah. which is put on here and milled out. So it's a nice track this way. The only <coughs> only thing we've really never done on it because we wanted to get the thing going real fast was that we could do a lot better with aluminum, something different here. But basically, everything would work the same way. We'd work on a slot like this to receive your wood, different different widths of the wood right here, uh, and some kind of a clamping device. Now, it could be all put into here. Um, Lots of things can be done, but you know, a guy could could build this whole thing out of wood, and two basically two two steel bar clamps like that there, it works perfect, all adjustable. You know, uh, there's no stops on the end of the where the stock stop would go, the uh, stock would go. Uh, so you can shove it. It can be a hundred feet long as far as that goes. You just keep shooting it through. What's nice about it here is then again, it's very primitive. It's seventeen hundreds. That's a stop with a nail, you know. It can be different stops that can run back and forth like this here on a channel to tighten up and everything. But this is a true stop. It stops every time right there. If you want to stop the, uh, if you want to stop the flute, you run the flutes here to the stop. Then you bring this down. You put a nail here and you run it that way, and you leave a hole in the middle, which is not fluted, which which for rails and things like that. But you could have a hole every one inch to drop a stop in. So when the architects call up and they want those flutes on the 16th, that's why the nails come in handy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The nail is, is a good tolerance and it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, uh, you're not going to mess it up. <coughs> how this, this jig here is made for the, for the router, how this operates back and forth, how it tilts on the barons, and how it runs back and forth on here. You see this sawdust and grit and everything in there, but it works perfect because the whole mechanism is inside here, and it has a way to get it getting everything out the way this whole shoulder is made in this U-shaped system here for running this back and forth. So the whole system is this, this here, and your table function, which basically gives you your stop and the hole of the wood. There are, there are mechanisms uh, in this whole track system right here that can be stops, but they have to be stops that exactly the same on both of these here. These are these work real fine because they're, 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 they're built, they're cut all in one piece, these two pieces here, they get exactly the same length. They just slide in and you just bring it up to it here and tighten it up and that's it. Brings an absolute perfect dimension. If you look at this dimension right here, how straight that is. Now you don't see any sideways movement in that, in, in, in that cutter and you won't see it in a one inch cutter. Your stops, everything is right here, absolutely perfectly in line. You know, it's just uh, it's the hula hoop in the uh, in the, uh, the the woodworking shop. It's something that uh, that it took us to do one column a half a day, and uh, <coughs> with a router and a straight edge, and that's what you come out with. Well, this one right here took three minutes after he set it up. He could do it most likely in less than two minutes once it's set up. It's just uh, the travel of the of the router, and you just 
send it down. You don't have to take and pull it in, do anything, and just take your hand. A, a three-year-old could could run the whole thing. But it's it's a it's outside of a CNC machine, and I guess seventy-five or hundred thousand dollars. This can be made very very cheap, and most people can buy it. Uh, um, it has to be put out there for more people. We've had more people have wanted us to build this for them, and uh, you know I we I I build a, build boats and toys downstairs, and we work a little shop up here on the side, and you know it all works. It's uh it's something everybody should have. Um, if you look in into any of the uh, patents that have been put in prior to this right here, there's nothing that's like this. And uh, uh, we've looked at the, about 12 patents, which are the latest ones out, and we find nothing in the patent bureau that uh, that even even has anything like this right here. Um, it works. It works fast. It's cheap, and it's a perfect product. Uh, my name is Fred Heim, 60 Carver Hill, Marlboro, Mass. Uh, my uh, shop foreman up here is uh, Mr. Toomey, uh, which operated the machine and uh, I'll show you uh, about it. Uh, he's the one that uses it all the time. Uh, we do flutes for builders and uh, do a lot of columns just because we have the machine to do it.